Located far from the U.S. southern border, Denver was not directly impacted by a regular migration until a political decision changed that. In May of 2023, the governor of Texas, Greg Abbott, announced that he would start busing migrants to Denver, the fifth city that he's been targeted to raise awareness about the immigration problems that Texas is facing. As a result, tens of thousands of migrants arrived in Colorado's capital. City officials said that in the past year, Denver received more migrants per capita than any other major city outside Texas. Many migrants ended up in encampments on the street. Seeing the desperate situation, Andrea got involved. The mother of three started a Facebook group called Highland Moms and Neighbors that attracted more than 7,000 volunteers to help migrants, like here in a Denver church that houses migrants. Andrea would like to see governments and nonprofits with better resources and more experience doing the job they are expected to do. The problem is that because our immigration system doesn't work and there's no plan, so they're opening the door to thousands and thousands and thousands of people who genuinely need help and who want to work and just not be dependent on anyone. They're not looking for handouts. I have to like force coats and shoes on people. They want work. They don't want they want to be able to pay for their own stuff. I say this a lot, and I mean it not disrespectfully, but on, honestly, like whoever is in charge of immigration policy in this country needs to step aside, maybe go have a snack, clean your room, and let the moms do it. Like we, 48 hours and this could be fixed. Denver has spent more than $36 million helping migrants. Residents in neighboring Lakewood say that's too much. Recently, hundreds of them gathered for a town hall meeting to raise concerns about overwhelmed hospitals and infrastructure. The concern is, is that all of the neighboring municipalities were approached to help with the situation in Denver. They want us, all of us, to take um, a role in housing and feeding and services. Um, people are reluctant to get engaged here particularly when the city and when, when the government really is not asking how you feel about this. This needs to have public discussion and that had not happened. Denver Mayor Mike Johnston's office did not respond to interview requests. In February, the mayor announced temporary cuts to some city services to fund the immigration response, a decision that increased the already existing tensions. Now that conversation and that um, dynamic has created us versus them in Denver, where um, prior to that, I didn't hear that. Prior to that, I had um, tons of people wanting to help and stepping into that space of filling the gap where government couldn't. Now that some of our rec recreation centers are closing, um, have limited hours, and our motor vehicle centers have limited hours, yes, now I'm hearing like, well, what about us? Many fear that this increasingly politicized conversation with an upcoming presidential election and a radicalized discourse on migration in the United States will only get more heated, pushing a fair humanitarian solution further out of reach.